Hey guys, this is Goku, and on this channel we talk about poker and ideas that can improve your life. Today we're gonna jump into uh, another WPT GTO Trainer session. We're playing the cash game spot cut of open versus big blind call, and we are uh, we've already played 366 hands of this spot, so uh, you can check out those previous episodes um, in the playlist. And let's just jump right into it. We have ace jack off on eight ace ace and we are going to bet two. The solver agrees it's a 95% uh, play here and curiously we get raised to 8.5 of course we call and we are hoping that the villain bets again he doesn't. There's a six of clubs on the turn. Now is this a spot where we bet uh, a third of the pot mm. or do we over bet here or do we bet three quarters? I would uh, Probably bet three quarters here most of the time, but I'm thinking maybe it's a spot where we bet a third. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna go with it. I don't know. I, I have a feeling. Oh, yeah, I actually got this right. Nice. 92% of the time we should bet a third of the pot here. Interesting, huh? Pocket tens on eight uh, queen deuce with two clubs. It's a bet two. Okay, it, the ideal action is actually betting five. The solver plays that 38% of the time, but betting two is uh, almost uh, no EV loss and it's a more frequent play in the solver strategy, so we're all good. We catch a 10 on the turn and uh, I think we're gonna overbet this, right? Nope. Actually, we should bet three quarters of the pot. That's the ideal action. The solver would play that 38.7% of the time and overbetting is fine. It's a very little EV loss and it's actually also played fairly uh, often by the solver. But now there's an ace of, uh, there's an ace of clubs on the river and the villain bets 45 BB, so he overbets the pot. Now I think we have to call with pocket tens here. We don't, we cannot fold. Really? The solver says we should fold here 95% of the time. Only call 4.4? Now this is, uh, this is really interesting. I'm definitely not, uh, not falling as often here. But yeah, let's let's move on. Pocket threes on a queen deuce deuce. I guess it's a bad two. It is. The villain is going to call. Okay. There's a nine of spades on the turn. Uh, is this a spot where we check or do we bet maybe three and a half here? I'm gonna check. Yeah, we should pretty much only be checking here. And now there's a king on the river and the villain bets the pot. We're falling our pocket threes. The solver agrees, but only 62% of the time. So 37.6% he calls or raises here. Queen 10 suited on a king 5 8 i think it's it might be a bad five spot it is not it's a bad two 46 percent of the time but betting five is fine 21 percent of the time and uh is a slight ev loss but now there's a seven of of diamonds on the turn and the villain leads over betting the pot we're just going to fold yep king queen suited on a deuce king three with two clubs this is a bad five again it's a bad two bad five is a rare play and a small ev loss okay eight of clubs on the turn we're betting three quarters and in reality the ideal play is a check but three quarters the solver only bets under 5% of the time here. So we should be betting uh, a third of the pot or over betting. Hmm, quite interesting. I wonder uh, what's the percentages for uh, over bet or for a third of the pot bet. Probably we bet third of the pot here more often, right? Let's go to the next one. Ace king off on a 10 jack three. Is that a... Uh... Is that a check kind of hand? Okay, it's a bet five kind of hand. 56% of the time, but the remainder of the strategy is mostly checking so it's okay now the villain leads to us for 4.5 bbs and uh do we call here or do we raise maybe it's a spot no nah, i think it's a call it's a call 99 percent of the time yeah and there's a jack uh, of clubs on the river and we have to bet here to win i assume how much do we bet do we bet three quarters i think we bet three quarters and the solver agrees that it's the ideal action but he does that 45 percent of the time so the remainder 55 he either bets half pot over bets the pot or falls I, I don't think he falls often but i would be interested to to see jack queen of hearts on a queen five five is a bet too yes you get called 
There's a 10 of spades on the turn and we are going to bet three and a half. We should actually check here. Hmm. Really interesting that this is a check and betting a third is only a 5% play, but yeah, very, very small EV loss. King nine of spades on a jack, king three. That might be a bet five, yeah? That's actually a check. Okay, so this kind of weak, uh, this kind of medium strength king is a check and I assume uh, a weak king would be a bad five but it's a mixed strategy you see it's a check 87% of the time or 86 and then bad five 13% of the time and the EV is pretty much the same I guess ace three suited on a seven queen ten rainbow is a bad two it is actually a check all right bad two is a yeah, good alternative but the solver only plays 14% of the time here. Four of uh, spades on the turn we're checking, the solver does so as well and we have a ten of hearts on the river. Or do we bet at this or do we fold or I mean do we check behind? I think might be a spot where we overbet the pot right? Nope it's actually a spot where we should be checking 98% of the time overbetting the solver only does 1% of the time here. The EV loss is it's not big thankfully but yeah it's not a spot where we should be doing that ever we should be checking behind i think ace3 is just too strong for a bluff and the villain goes all in so obviously we fold seven five of uh of spades on a jack 10 king going to check this and the solver would actually bet five here interesting he checks behind just 7.4 percent of the time now there's another king on the turn and what do we do here i think i'm gonna bet two a third of the pot again the solver would bet three quarters and only bet two five percent of the time king eight of clubs on an eight Queen 10. I think this is gonna be a bet too. It's a check. Okay, so weak purse on a board like that. The solver prefers checking for sure most of the time. There's another 10 of spades. And do we bet this? Do we check? I think we're going to check here. The solver does so as well. And we have a nine of hearts on the river. And we're just going to call this off. Yeah, and we lose to a straight. That's unfortunate. King Jack of spades on a 7A7. Is that a bet two yes that is a bet two we get check raised we're obviously calling yep there's a 10 of diamonds on the turn now do we bet or do we check behind i think we're going to check behind the hero would actually bet a third of the pot here 72 percent of the time and check behind 24.5 interesting yeah we have an eight of uh clubs on the river and i think since we check the turn yeah i guess that's why we bet here because since we check the turn i don't think we can really do much here we're gonna have to check again oh shoot no, that was a huge EV loss and and we should actually be betting half pot here. Man, that hurts. That really hurts. Yeah, it's a hand I, I guess we'll analyze uh, more towards the end of the series when we have 500 hands. Uh, now let's just move on. Pocket queens on 5-6 king. We're going to bet two. It's a check. Betting two is also uh, the rest of the strategy and a fine play. Ace eight suited on a deuce ten seven with two clubs. Maybe that's a hand that we check. Oh yeah, for once we get the check right. King of uh, clubs on the turn. We're going to bet four and a half or maybe it's an over bet. Well, checking is the idea play. Betting three quarters is uh, pretty much the same EV but it's only 5% of the strategy and we get check raised to 14 BBs and we're falling this hand. Yes. Ace nine off on a six seven ace. I think this is a hand that we check, right? It's not the ideal play, but it is the most frequent play. So not bad. We have an, an ace of uh, of clubs on the turn. I think we're going to overbet this here and we should not be overbetting here ever. We should be checking 48% of the time and the remainder 50% betting either uh, third or three quarters. Interesting, huh? Yeah, that's very interesting. Ace nine off on a ace seven four. Again, should we check? But then, well, this time we'll bet two. Because last time when we checked, it was a bet two. Hmm, interesting, huh? Anyways, uh, there's a seven of clubs on the turn. And we're going to continue betting here, I think. We're gonna bet three quarters. And that's a bad play. We should be checking here 99% of the time. 99.9. .9. Oh man, I guess I am tired because 
This session is just terrible. I'm making all the wrong calls. Ace three half hearts on a king deuce ten with two hearts. Is that a bad five hand? It is. Excellent. King nine of spades on a four three jack is a bad two hand. It is. Pocket threes on a jack king deuce is a bad two. It's actually a check, but betting two is zero EV and a quarter of the strategy. There's a four of spades on the turn. We're gonna check behind. Yeah, the solver agrees and there's a six of hearts on the river and the solver leads for seven bbs now do we call this here or do we fold i think we fold yeah ace king of hearts on a queen queen six with two hearts i think it's a bad two hand yeah we get called jack of uh, of spades on the turn we're gonna over bet and again we make the wrong call it's just 0.65 percent of the strategy the ideal play is betting three quarters hmm. but since we went with this now the villain bets nine bbs to a pot of 37 we're going to raise it up to 39 and we get called by a how does he call here and not reshove yeah i was able to do that because we, we will not know this tree so we will not lose any evs on that king 10 off on a four queen ace is uh is it a bad five? Oh yeah it is nice we get called there's a 10 of diamonds on the turn now do we continue betting or do we check hmm i think we're going to check this here yeah the solver agrees there's an ace of hearts on the river mm -mm -mm. i think we're going to check again yeah we lose to queen jack off unfortunately four six of spades on a jack 5 8 is that a bad two it is a bad five 67 percent of the time a bad two is also fine another jack on the turn we're going to check and a nine of diamonds on the river i think we're falling this yeah queen jack off on a three queen 10 is this a bad five it's a bad two but bad five is pretty much 50 50 unfortunately we get check raised we're going to call this off there's a four of spades on the turn the, the villain checks we're gonna check behind and there's another queen on the river we're going to over bet or bet three quarters let's bet three quarters yeah it's a bet three quarters kind of spot and we win nice queen 10 of spades on a queen six four we are going to bet two yes the villain calls we have another four on the turn we're gonna check solver agrees and there's a seven of of clubs on the river the villain leads we're gonna call and we lose to a flush unfortunately five four of spades on a five eight five that's a bad two yes you get check raised we call six of spades on the turn the villain checks is this a, a spot where we bet eight it is actually not it's a spot where we bet three quarters we bet eight uh 20 percent of the time and it's a slight ev loss but good to know that we should be betting three quarters here maybe it's because the board got uh more scary i don't know anyways there's a queen of hearts on the river and i think we're betting three quarters here okay we should actually be over betting that is interesting but uh betting three quarters is also fine okay excellent we've played our 25 hands so this is going to be the last one with eight nine suited on a six deuce eight rainbow we are going to bet two ideal action is bet five but betting two is the other half of the strategy, so it's fine. There's a five of hearts on the turn, and now the villain leads to us for a third of the pod. We're going to call. Wow, now that is interesting. The ideal action is actually raising to 13. That's quite uh, that's quite interesting. But just checking is, uh, I mean, just calling is also fine. It's a almost non-EV loss and the rest of the strategy. Now there's a king of uh, spades on the river and the villain overpass the pot we're going to fold which is again a bad decision jesus <sighs> this session yeah i guess uh what are you gonna do let's exit it and see the results which are unfortunately quite terrible minus 71 bbs we will not get our stats up this session which is uh mostly due to this this hand which was a huge EV loss, but also those two uh, hands where we lost over two, two BBs. Let's check out our overall stats, which got, which have gotten worse. They are now at minus 40 BBs. So I think uh, we will not be able to get them down to 20 by f hand 500. 
I think if we can achieve uh, minus 30 BBs of, of EV loss in the next 108 hands, it will surely be a success. So let's keep our fingers crossed that we this can happen. And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this series. Let me know what you thought of the session. I mean, uh, I made some terrible mistakes. So mm, hopefully you you wouldn't have made them. So you can let me know how bad of a player I am. And, uh, and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Uh, they're surely going to come in the future. And if you'd like to check out this uh, GTO trainer tool, uh, there's going to be a link in the description below as well. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.